News of the day is that users can now apply for a blue tick or a verified badge for their Twitter accounts. Yes, the company has reopened its verification process for the first time since 2017 with a new set of guidelines. So if you are somebody who should be applying for getting a blue tick for their Twitter account, then you should go and check out our latest story on India Today website. Coming to the agenda of this video, it's Friday and I'm here with another hashtag Let's Get Techie Q&A session where we answer your technology related questions. So if there is any confusion or a doubt or a question that's related to the world of technology, then do not hesitate. Just type your question in the comment box, use the hashtag Let's Get Techie and we will take your question in the next week's video. You're watching India Today Tech, I am Pavni Jain and before I start taking your questions, why don't you just subscribe to India Today Tech YouTube channel and also hit the bell icon next to it so that you are notified every time we upload new video. Kyoki. 1700, सिर्फ 1700 सब्सक्राइबर्स रह गए हैं टू रीच दैट 1 लाख सब्सक्राइबर मार्क सो हेल्प अस रीच देयर एज सुन एज पॉसिबल एंड नाउ लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड क्वेश्चन नंबर 1 इज फ्रॉम शिवाराम एंड ही सेस हाय पावनी ए व्हेन कैन वी एक्सपेक्ट 5G इन इंडिया आई हर्ड ट्रायल्स वर स्टार्टेड ऑलरेडी इवन विदाउट द 5G स्पेक्ट्रम ऑप्शन मेनी 5G फोन्स आर जस्ट वन बैंड 5G सपोर्टेड एन 78 Will that be sufficient if at all 5G arrives soon? Mm -hmm. uh, see, the Department of Telecommunications of India has already granted permission to service providers for starting their uh, you know, 5G trials in the country. This happened on 4th of May, I guess. It is true that the 5G network in India is at its initial stage right now. Even most of the smartphones that we get with 5G network support very limited number of 5G bands which are under 6 GHz. But in order to use the full potential of 5G network, we need to have bands included in the smartphones that can support frequencies greater than 24 GHz. Initially, with the 5G network that we will have in the country, we'll only offer faster speed. But it will take some time for the service providers to actually build that 5G infrastructure which has the potential to transform the internet. Also do let me know in the comments if you guys want me to do a separate video on 5G network where I can talk about the same in detail. Next question. Sujit Behra has a question and it's divided in two parts. One says, is the today's 5G smartphones with one or more band support 5G network when 5G will launch in India? And the second part of the question says, is Realme 8 5G the most preferable phone for future 5G use in India? Uh, I guess some part of your question I've already answered Suji. As for the Realme 8 5G smartphone, um, this phone also comes with limited number of bands, uh, which are NSA and SA uh, most probably. Uh, again, these bands will support limited frequencies, which are under 6 GHz. But there is no harm in buying such a phone because most of the phones that you will find right now in the country come with a similar capability. Sanyam Jain says, Hey Pavni, if my priorities are clean UI and lightweight, which phone should I consider under Rs 20,000? Uh, there are very few brands that offer clean UI. Uh, in fact, in most of the phones that fall under Rs 20,000, you will find bloatware. But still, phones from brands like Motorola and Nokia can be considered. I would suggest having a look at uh, Moto G60. It comes with clean UI and also powerful specifications like 108 megapixel camera or say 732G chipset and also huge 6000mAh battery. But again, the problem will be its weight. You may find this phone heavy at 225 grams. But I will give you another suggestion and it is Redmi Note 10. Xiaomi is not known for its clean software, but the company is trying to change that with its Mi UI 12.5 and Redmi Note 10s is the first smartphone to get that. So yes, this is another phone that you can consider because you can also remove pre-installed apps from the smartphone. Tarun Singh writes, Hello Pavni, hey Tarun. Please suggest the best smartphone under 50k. Uh, there are actually quite a good options uh, at that price point. You can consider buying Vivo X60 Pro, Mi 11X Pro. Mi 11X Pro comes at a price of Rs 40,000, whereas the other phones, two phones that I mentioned, are around 50,000 rupees. So you can consider your budget as well. 
um other than that for more details about these phones you can also check out their review videos on our channel which is india today tech with this we have reached to the end of this video uh please share and like this video if you like it also do not forget to subscribe to our channel hit the bell icon and i'll see you another one